Right guys, so we've got a new toy to try. <laughs> this is Long Tom. This is a Cobra driver, which I actually confiscated from one of my clients because he was- Stole it. Just... I, I literally said that you're not using that anymore because he's a golfer who, let's say, wasn't quite um, ability-wise as good enough to use this just yet. Um, I've never seen this driver before. It was new one on me. New so this is, also oh, guys, I'm sure you've seen Pete before. Pete Finch, check him out on his channel down here. We have a little driving competition with Long Tom. Why it's so long, it's a four foot shaft. It's a four foot shaft. So compare that to, it's good. A few inches bigger than a G30. Um, it's the absolute legal limit you can get a driver shaft to play in competitive golf. I've checked it with the RNA. 48 inches you're allowed it and this is right on the limit it actually says on the head nine degree four foot <laughs> the best thing about it i mean this is a, this is quite an old drive i don't even know when this came out you uh, know is it an old i don't know if it is an it old, is one, an old I i'm sure it is i mean it looks awesome it looks phenomenal yeah. please do comment down below if you've seen one of these before if you use one i'm <laughs> impressed um it, the, the, it must be old because this writing's faded on the on the shaft it's stiff flex, a black bird shaft. Like, you know, one, one, one of them. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. Um, and the grip is absolutely tiny. <laughs> From what I've heard, the grip's so small, so you can't grip down on it. You're not allowed you to grip down, seriously. <laughs> You're not allowed to grip down on it. <laughs> so they've, they've kept Those it that short. Because as soon as you grip down, you, you're on you're on the actual you're actually shaft. on the graphite yeah. so we're gonna hit some golf balls here against what we currently do with our g30 and long tom using the gc2 and the hmt now which is the head measuring to technology so it's going to tell us how much faster this club head speed is traveling faster than turbulators you'd expect it to be faster oh it has to be so if you weren't aware if, if the longer the shaft the quicker the head as uh, sorry the, the more um kind of radius the club head has got to travel to approach the golf ball this means the club head generally travels much much faster but is hard to control very hard, very hard. Control. the long drive champions use 50 inch plus shafts so this is almost a long drive but i mean i'm scared about my camera because i mean it's literally <laughs> when we've hit it it's been a bit like that but massive super long right um we'll hit gc uh, we'll hit g30 just a couple of times first just to get a bit of an idea of how far it's going and club head speed. It is windy today, but the GC2 doesn't know anything about the wind, so it's, that's fine. Um, let's give it a crack. So Pete's been hitting this well at the moment anyway. 157 miles per hour ball speed and a club head speed that was traveling at uh, 114. Give us another one. I don't think you hit that amazing. No, it's a little bit. Uh, I don't think this is the. This is my stiff shafted uh, G30 actually, yeah. just for ease of video in use. It's not my ex stiff. No, you're too big boy for this. Yeah. 163. Not my best one, so it's one. And 116 club head speed. Okay, let me have a, a quick crack at that as well. Right, so that, that shaft might not suit you brilliantly. Some people might say shaft doesn't really matter, but uh, right, let's give this a bit of a, a bit of a hit. <laughs> nice. 163, club head speed 112. Nice shot, that. Yeah, it's nice. 163 carry, uh, 260, 264 carry. <laughs> 266 carry, 163 ball speed, and club head speed, 113. I've definitely seen a faster club head speed start to happen when you're using turbulators. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting now. Right, so Pete was averaging, let me just test, let me just check. He didn't hit them amazing distance-wise, but averaging at club head speed was, sorry Pete, let me just check, uh, 115 miles per hour club head speed and 160 miles per hour ball speed. I was getting my club head speed at averaging about 113 and my ball speed 163. So, long Tom, long Tom. Right. Um, we, were, we were hitting it in the kind of 250s mark for Pete and 260s for myself. 
but um, like I said, that was just us trying to have a bit of a crack at it. Long Tom, is it? Is the map it's, big enough? It's one of those things where we try to actually come up with almost a little bit worried about toppling off the end of this mat here. He said as well to Pete, when I've been hitting this in practice, you've got to tee it up quite high because it's uh, it just definitely needs that extra height off the tee. Heels are right on the edge of this. If I break a leg. I think you've got to swing it long, just rip it. Just rip it, yeah. As the wind just massively picked up, but that doesn't ah. really matter. 170 ball speed for a 281 miles per hour carry. So you, oh my God, your club head speed was 122. 122? 122 club head speed. Oh my God. You know what, I stepped on it a bit, but I reckon I could get more out of it, you know. No, really? Yeah, I reckon so, I could. So, uh, 281 yards of carry, but the ball speed actually went up by 10 miles per hour, and your club head speed went up by about eight. What was that club head speed in total then, that one? Uh, club head speed on that one was 122. It's really fast. Right then. Oh, you ripped that. I won't really bother about club head speed. 123 <laughs> miles per hour I didn't club see head where, speed. I didn't see where it went. Uh, distance wise, it just it just goes up and falls out the sky for yeah. 270 that carried. Uh, ball speed 172. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the ball speed has gone up by 12 miles per hour. And the distance has gone up, to be fair, by about 30 yards. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna proper tee this up. So just to remind you, I was about 113, 14 miles per hour club head speed and about 163 miles per hour ball speed. I know that's about right for me. If this gets anywhere in the region of 120 miles per hour club head speed, it's in the bag. I was going to say, I don't... It's in the bag. I don't know that you're going to be returning calls from your lessons. Oh my, or... I am literally... I feel like I'm like literally that, stood off the mat. Yeah, my lesson tries to call me back. No, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> it's in my bag, right. It's so weird with this tiny, tiny grip. Let's give it a smash. I actually feel like I need to swing this about there. Yeah, well, you, I think you do automatically. That was so close to the camera, by the way. 171 oh my. ball speed. Club head speed, 119. <laughs> 291 carry. 291? 291. Oh, my God. I think I can get this. The backspin two and a half as well, just over. Let me do a Barry stretch. <laughs> I've got this in the bag. <laughs> this is 300 yard. 271. Come on. 219 miles per hour club head speed. I cannot get that. That is fast. Come on, Long Tom. What a ball fly that is, oh. by the way. 294 carry, 120 club head speed. No! <laughs> so that 120 club head speed and 171 ball speed. Let's have some more, I think. That went straight. That went dead straight. That was, that was the best drive I've actually seen you hit. Oh my God, 294 carry. Right, should we have another go? Yeah, don't we right, having another go. <laughs> Right, so we're going to go, let's go three more shots each, Pete. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I can get this over 300. I think it spins to, I don't know, it just seems to go up. Up and up and up and up and up for you. Yeah, I, do, I just can't. It's going straight. Mm. It's going all right. I'm going to try. I'm, You're going to kill this. I'm going to try and get to oh one. If I God. get to 130 club head speed. You can't get to 130. I'm, I'm gonna, not having it. I got to 120. It. I didn't think I could, to be fair. See what the data are in. You just don't hit it any distance. 172 ball speed, uh, 126 club head speed, 126. <sighs> right. I, I'm not sure I'll get it any faster than that, but. I don't think you can get it any faster than that. I think that's the fastest I've ever seen you swing it's it off. Just so your long. smash factor is dreadful. If you hit that out the middle, you're flying. Seriously. <laughs> if you button that, you are flying. That seemed good. Club head speed, 126, so it's matched your top. 269 carry, 175. How does it not go? Ball speed. How's it going so short? I don't, I don't understand. Know. 
your spin is 4,000. Yeah. <laughs> that might make a bit of a difference. <laughs> but a wedge you, you need like a double extra stiff in this. A double extra stiff 4,000. Well, suppose at 100, yeah, but 126 <laughs> miles per hour club head speed now, you're going to start to need an extra, a, a firmer shaft, surely, suppose, yeah. to reduce the spin down a touch. All right, then. Or, do, or does he? I just don't know about shafts anymore. Right, let's go one more. Come on, 300. You've got it in you. Nah. No. Healy. No. No good. Yeah. 127. Club, Club head speed, though. My God. Oh, I almost popped my groin out. Oh, my God. 127. <laughs> right. So, my top at the moment is 100. 20 club head speed, which is, I don't get that. I never get that. 172, I think, ball speed mm. and 294 carry distance. I was going to say, your carry is awesome. Just the spins, <laughs> spins a bit different. <laughs> oh, I'm going to absolutely rip these next year. I actually saw that be way behind there. That was a mega long swing. <laughs> uh, not as good that time. I literally saw the club head behind my head. What? 169 ball like speed, <laughs> 259 carry. Yeah, that wasn't as good. Right. That wasn't the best we've ever seen. Let's, let's strike it a bit better this time. I do feel like I'm stood off the mat. It's a different flight. It's a totally different flight. 282 carry. It's massive on the range down here at Trafford. 116, right. I'm reserving all my energy for the last golf shot. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy numbers. It's crazy club head speed. That's what I'm impressed with. Yeah. It's just whether you can control it. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. Everything you got and then a little bit more on this one. As long as I strike it, because that's the important bit. But with the extra long, you just don't know where the sweet spot is in the no, swing. So I, I, can't, I can't feel it, really. Throughout the, throughout the swing, I come can't on. feel it. I'm going to absolutely spank this. Oh no, I'm bottomed in. <laughs> oh, no. um, 163 ball, club head speed 120 again. 120 again. Man, that's just great. That was just at the bottom a little bit, wasn't it? Just, just, just while people are wanting to see a 300 yard drive. <laughs> Come on, Rick. I'm going to absolutely cream it. It's got oh, a That chat. could be good. 168 ball speed, 283. 283. Ah, oh, man. 294. So, it's close enough, I think. 294 is not bad. Um, I, I loved hitting that. I really enjoyed that. Oh. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, we, we really enjoyed hitting that golf club. I'm not, not sure my body enjoyed it too much <laughs> now. <laughs> Do give the video a thumbs up, guys. We really appreciate your, uh, your thoughts. Comment down below, have you seen one of these before? A Cobra long... I, I think they needed to put a few more O's oh, in the long, long top. Um, because it is long, it's four foot long, 48 inches. It is proven to increase both our club head speeds without question. Yeah, no doubt about that. Not that we were trying to hit the ball I was going to say, we, 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 that, soft swings that we were We were staying though. within ourselves there. Um, <laughs> ball speed has definitely increased. It's just, it's hard, slightly harder to control because... Right and left are like 40 yards right and left. Yeah, well, some of them, some of them are straight. Club is just so far away. <laughs> Wait for me coming through. So that was a bit of a long time. Guys, go and check out Pete on his channel. If you've not seen our Monday Night Golf Show, you can check that out as well, guys. Um, that's going to be a weekly feature. Um, and it just shows that sometimes the manufacturers can sometimes manipulate how far you hit the golf ball by lengthening the shaft but they don't always help themselves in where you hit it on the golf course because they're not always dead straight. Guys, thanks so much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the link down below. Check out my next video here and check out Pete's channel, like we said before, by clicking his face. Guys, Long Tom, Cobra. We're literally going to be here all day. Turn the cameras off and let's keep going. Let's just keep smashing it. I'm going to go one more. I'm going to keep, keep him in suspense, though. I want you to go on my Twitter and find this shot. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm literally going to jump on this. Oh! <laughs> oh, go and check out Twitter to see what that last one was. At Rick Shields PGA Gaps. Oh! <laughs>